Okay, so let's see how much you understand about triangles. Because obviously we're dealing with triangles here. Matter of fact, we have two triangles. And the problem is the following. We're looking for angle X. Now angle X is right there. We want to know how many degrees this angle is. But uh, we have some given information. We know that this angle is 15 degrees. This angle right here is 100 degrees. And this angle right there is 45 degrees. Now, a lot of you um, won't really kind of know where to start to figure this out. This is not that difficult of a problem. Matter of fact, there is basically two approaches you can take. One very easy and one very kind of uh, much more involved to kind of pass to get uh, to the answer here. But I don't want to give you too many hints because I want to give you a full opportunity for you to solve this problem all on your own. Matter of fact, if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'll show you both approaches you can take to answer this question. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. And by the way, feel free to use a calculator. Again, we're looking for this angle right there, angle X. This is how many degrees? Well, angle X is equal to 120 degrees. All right, well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of properties of triangles and specifically the angles within a triangle. All right, so this is a very easy problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you uh, the correct or the easiest way to get to the answer. And then I'll show you a longer approach that uh, maybe some of you were thinking about taking. Maybe some of you actually uh, you know, took this path, but some of you might be completely lost. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, before we can do anything, let's just kind of recognize a couple of uh, things. So we have two triangles, right? So we have this triangle in the problem, and we also have this triangle right there, okay? Now, this angle X is in, uh, basically kind of, um, you know, involved in both of these triangles to a certain degree. So you know, most people are kind of uh, trying to determine what should I focus on first? Should I focus on this triangle or should I focus on this triangle? Like what is a good approach or good strategy to figure this out? Well, we can't take any approach unless we know one thing about triangles and that is the following, that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So in every single triangle, no matter what, if you add up the angles, this angle plus this angle plus this angle, and it doesn't make a difference what type of um, triangle you're dealing with, the sum of the angles in a triangle will always be 180 degrees. All right, now uh, that's the first uh, thing that we need to understand. And if you understand that, really this becomes kind of a focus problem. All right, so we're thinking about this angle right here. So angle X, uh, is a part of one particular triangle, okay? Now, let's just take a look at this triangle. This, this triangle is this one right here, all right? So for the time uh, being, let's just forget about this other triangle, and let's just take a look at this triangle, okay? So I'm going to kind of draw it right here. So this is effectively what we have, right? So we have 45 degrees uh, this, for this angle right here. This is 45 degrees. And then this one right here is 15 degrees. And angle X is actually this right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and just erase this so we can kind of see. This is the angle that we're looking for right there. And it's part of this triangle, okay? So don't get confused uh, with this other triangle because we can easily figure out what this angle is because we have two of these angles, okay? If I have two out of three uh, angles in a triangle, then it's pretty easy for me to figure out what this last remaining triangle is because the sum total of these angles is gonna be 180 degrees. Now we could write this as an algebra uh, equation, but yeah, there really isn't too much of a need to do that. I can just go 15 
plus 45. All right, so we can just add these up real quick. 15 and 45, which of course will be 60 degrees. And I know if I have 180 degrees in a triangle, I can just take away 60 and that gives me 120 degrees, which of course is my answer. Now, if I wanted to get uh, fancy, I could use algebra. I could say uh, 15 plus 45 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. And that's not a bad approach as well. And of course, I could just solve this basic equation. 15 and 45 is 60 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. And then I can subtract 60 from both sides of the equation. So X will be equal to 120 degrees. All right, so this is by far the easiest and uh, most direct approach to solve this problem. But there is another way which involves other types of angles. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get to that in just one second. So let's go and take a look at the harder path, but kind of a more interesting path as well. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you this. Now there's two things I wanna talk about here real fast. The first is, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. This really does help me out, but it really kind of helps my YouTube classroom. I'm trying to reach more people like yourself, people that are interested in math or people who need help in mathematics. But So by you subscribing, it does really help that algorithm. So thank you so much. And if you're gonna do that, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest uh, videos. Now, a lot of you out there, uh, I get very um, frequent requests on people looking to relearn math, and that is a fantastic thing. And these are people that uh, maybe look at math as um, you know something they wanna resolve. And these are folks that you know generally you know, been away from the classroom you know, for maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and they just wanna kinda relearn uh, mathematics, which I think is fantastic, as it really is a great way to improve your focus and kind of your just your mental abilities. If you don't use your mind, you don't keep your mind sharp, you know, it's like anything else, you know, uh, our mental skills are perishable to a degree. And a lot of you, too, um, kind of want to uh, address, a, no, maybe their legacy or the way they felt about math. Because so many people look back with math in their school days and, you know, and they're like, wow, you know, I failed math. I could have done much better. And yes, indeed, everyone could have done much better. Some of you were great in math. Uh, but some of you uh, out there who struggle with math could have done much, much better, much, much better. And you can still prove to yourself that you can learn mathematics. But anyways, with all that being said, I just created a uh, new specific course for those of you that kind of want to rebuild your math skills. Now, this particular course, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. But in it, you're going to learn a ton of basic math, all that arithmetic stuff uh, that you uh, are taught in elementary school. You're gonna learn a ton of algebra and a lot of geometry. You're gonna even learn some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. So by the time you complete this course, and it's a self-paced course, there's no rush. You can just chip away at it little by little, but you're gonna have a tremendous amount of uh, math skills. And you, you know, obviously can build upon this if you wanna take more advanced math courses. But uh, anyways, for those of you that you don't know, feel that you want to kind of get back into math and you want to, you know, brush off those skills, this is kind of a custom uh, course uh, kind of made for you. Anyways, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thanks for listening to my little uh, pitch here, but it is important because my channel is all about learning mathematics, okay? Whether you're just interested and want to, you know, do this as a hobby, or if you really do need to build up your math skills, maybe for, you know, a particular, you know, career you're trying to get into. But let's go ahead and finish up this problem and talk about how we could do this problem the long way. All right, now this would involve kind of looking at this triangle right here. So let's suppose we're saying, all right, I got this triangle and how many angles of this triangle do I have? Well, you actually have a couple of angles here, right? I have this angle, okay, let me kind of focus in right here. So this triangle, I'll kind of highlight it in green. So we have this angle, we have 45 degrees and we have this angle, okay? So I can, uh, easily get this angle right there, right? Just add uh, 100 plus 45, then subtract from 180, and I can get the, this angle right here. But how is it, you know, if I get this angle measure, you know, what can I do to get this angle? I'm looking for this angle right there. Well, you know, it's, you know, uh, it's not so easy, right? I'm like, well, I got this angle, but I'm still gonna have to calculate some other angles. Well, here is one approach you could take, okay? And there's probably other approaches as well, 
but I'm going to give you a new word here, and that's called supplementary angles, supplementary angles. So a supplementary angle is uh, two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so if you have 120 degrees, what would be its supplement? Well, that would be 60 degrees because 120 and 60 is 180 degrees. So a straight line um, it, uh, by itself is in fact an angle. Okay, so in other words, if we look at angles here, for example, would be like 90 degrees. And if I open this up, this right here might be 120 degrees. But if I continue to open this up, now I have a, a straight line. We don't think of this as an angle, but indeed a straight line is an angle. It's 180 degrees. So right here, I have 100 degrees right here. So this angle right here is going to be what? Well, I can find that. That's 80 degrees, right? Because 80 plus 100 is going to be 180. So now I have this angle. I have this angle right here, 15 degrees. And now let's just kind of take a look at this triangle right in here. Okay, right in here. So this is 80, this is 15. So I could find this angle right here. Okay, now, now when I get this angle, okay, I can find its supplement right here by subtracting it away from 180. So whatever this angle is, I can just uh, subtract that away from 180. I get this angle, okay? So now I got this angle, I have this angle and this angle. I could get this angle right here and then I can find the supplement of this angle right here. Okay, so once I have this angle, I could find the supplement. Now I have this angle. I showed you how we could get this angle with this, uh, with using these two angles, 145 degrees. And then I have this little triangle right here, okay, which I can get this angle. And then I can find its supplement to finally get angle X, right? Now, it's probably even a little bit more elegant, uh, uh, more efficient uh, way to get to angle X, but you could just kind of, you know, go from angle to supplement to triangle, you know, because we have all different sorts of triangles going on here, right? So when we really think about it, we kind of erase this here so we kind of see with all this mess, how many triangles do we have? Well, we have one triangle, we have two triangles, and then we have right here, we have this little small triangle right there, we have another triangle. So as we were talking about one, two, three, four, I mean, uh, this is, uh, you know, a problem like this is designed almost to purposely confuse you, okay? So that's why when you are faced with geometry problems, especially things with like triangles and whatnot, before you uh, do anything, you want to kind of observe and just think about different possible routes to get an answer. Because if you just start calculating things out, you're going to miss the, kind of the big picture. All right, so hopefully this video was uh, interesting. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.